Hello and welcome to the Saintly Sounder, your source for all things FIFA. Episode 6 of the Saints Till I Die series is titled, There Was a Firefight. There's going to be a lot of goals in this game, and I have a feeling a couple of these guys are going to be involved. Just a reminder of the rules of the Saints Till I Die series. All players must be Southampton FC past or present, and all games must be played in one continuous Division I online season. Big changes were in store after that draw in the last game. Dusan Tadic comes in at left mid, Gaston Ramirez is reinstated into the squad, and Emmanuel Mayuka comes on for Ricky Lambert. A quick look at my opponent's squad sees him install Tevez on lower chem in a generic BPL squad. We're going to jump right in in the 17th minute with a goal by Emmanuel Mayuka. And with that airplane celebration, he becomes more powerful than the entire Air Force in his native Gambia. Shane Long here is able to find a very good ball. He's able to play it one touch as you're about to see. He gets the ball. Mayuka makes the runoff. And he's going to find that finesse shot into the lower right-hand corner. We pick up the action eight minutes later as I get dispossessed with Gaston Ramirez. My opponent launches a big counterattack with Sturridge, Tevez, and Di Maria. I think I have this covered, but a couple unfortunate bounces... See Sturridge play Di Maria into a little bit of space. I play poor defense, but Forster bails me out. My opponent does go short corner here. I don't cover it too well. As you can see, he gets the ball in. He's obviously practiced this a little before. He's going to find Gerard at the top of the 18. I think, oh good, I've got it on his left, but Gerard swings his right leg around to get it. He hits it with the outside of his foot into the corner flag. Does a nice little slide celebration. Again, this shouldn't come as any surprise if you watched a previous review. Gerard is just immense on that right foot. The last big chance either of us would get in the first half is about to come up right here. Wanayama finds Long, who in turn finds Theo Walcott out wide. I'm aiming near post, but I overhit it to Mayuka. That's not what he's meant to do, and that would basically neutralize that chance and end the first half. So we're going to go into halftime with the score 1-1. Aside from possession, everything's even. We're passing well. We both have the same amount of shots. A quiet first 20 minutes sees us skip straight to the 67th. I've made a couple changes here. I've added Danny Osvaldo at right striker. I put in Jay Rodriguez as left striker. I've moved in form Dusan Tadic from left wing to center attacking mid. And I've added Oxalade Chamberlain there for Gaston to play on the left side. I'm going to make the pressure tell here. As you can see, Tadic, Rodriguez, and Osvaldo all are going to play a key role here. Rodriguez waits. I notice he's not stepping to me with Rojo. And Jay Rodriguez, the Englishman, is going to put it in the back of the net to give us a lead with 21 to go. A nice bit of interplay from our strikers and center attacking mid, combined with lackadaisical defending on his part, sees Jay Rodriguez fire it in with his left foot. I would concede on the kickoff immediately following that goal. Tevez just ran through my whole defense. Here we see Tadic Osvaldo connecting. I get a little fortunate with some bounces, but I'm able to keep the pressure up. I'm maintaining a good amount of time in his half. You can see Waniyama launches that first run, but just can't find the pass. Too bad he panics and clears it to Klein. Waniyama says, give me a second chance, son. He finds the corner with a volley, and we go up 3-2. to two. Again, a nice bit of interplay from Osvaldo and Rodriguez. is able to see Wanayama hit it on his second chance as he finds that volley past Azmir Begovic to give us the lead. I could almost feel my opponent deflating through the TV screen. He tries this half-hearted skill run with Di Maria before Jay Rodriguez nips it off of him at midfield, finds the brilliant run of Pablo Danny Osvaldo, and we go up 4-2 in the 93rd. That final little breakaway goal would be all I needed to secure the three points. 
in the final match action of the day. Super subs once again coming up huge and nicking the goals. Jay Rodriguez and Paulo Dani Osvaldo definitely were the difference here, both contributing a goal and an assist. We go on 4-2 and 6-1-1 one one on the season. An even game in every step, but possession, we both passed very well, both had around the same number of shots. With only two games to go, we have a really good chance at the title. Just to recap, Gerard and Tevez again. Gerard is so good. If you've watched the review, you already know. And Tevis was the one who handed us defeat previously. He has three goals against me so far in this run. Super subs. Again, I'm going to sound like a broken record, but they scored two goals to snatch the points. Super subs is what wins you games. And one of those subs, Captain Jack, Danny Osvaldo, contributing a goal and assist. This guy is actually surprisingly good. I'm considering doing a review on him. He's been... That pleasantly surprising. And possession wins matches in a game where almost every other stat was even. Having more of the ball, I feel, made a huge difference. If you found this at all interesting, exciting, helpful, different, unique, like and subscribe. You can also follow me at the Red Death 329 That's it for now. Until next time, thanks.